Okay, Ben, the rise in coronavirus cases is prompting action from Governor Whitmer today. If you were just joining us, the state now reporting 262 new cases. That's down slightly from the number that was reported yesterday. We have lost four more Michiganders to the disease, though. Governor Whitmer is changing two rules involving alcohol. The first stops indoor bar service in most of lower Michigan. The second makes it okay for restaurants to sell alcoholic drinks to go and via delivery. And renewal dates for Michigan driver's licenses, ID cards, and vehicle registrations have been pushed back to September 30th. Aside from some safety guidelines from the state, it became obvious Tuesday that school districts will largely be coming up with their own plans for their returns to school this fall. For instance, some will be offering more online instruction than others. And as Steve Gargiola reports, that's a big factor parents have to consider when deciding whether to send their kids back. When the school year ended abruptly, online schooling suddenly became a necessity. Now with the threat of COVID-19 still hanging over the new school year, Virtual school is a topic of serious discussion. As a teacher, I hated doing online schooling. I missed my kids. One dad I talked with wants fully online teaching for his kids. He believes more control over how and when they learn is just one benefit. On top of that being bullied at school or having to deal with kids in the hallway and having to deal with just all this stuff that kind of goes on in the school system. The West Bloomfield District is ready to offer full-time virtual school. We are actually starting Lakers Online, which is a fully remote learning only option uh, for our students in West Bloomfield and um, actually within Oakland County. So we are accepting applications from outside of the school district. In Pontiac, students will begin the year with two days a week online and three in school to reduce building capacity. Some parents hate 